going to have a look at a pretty basic introduction to calculus. Now we'll start by looking at differentiation in this clip. Differentiation is all about finding gradients and that's what we're going to be looking at here. We're going to be trying to find the gradient of this curve here. Now I've plotted this curve, it's the parabola y equals x squared. We're going to try and find the gradient of the curve at a certain point. And we're going to have a look at the point when x equals 3, so the coordinates there are 3, 9. So when x equals 3 we'll find the gradient. Now the gradient at the point here is different to the gradient here. The curve gets steeper as we move along here and less steep as we go this way. So the, the gradient is all the time changing. So at the point 3 is what we're trying to find. How can we find that gradient? Well in GCSE we learned that the gradient is difference in y divided by difference in x. But the problem is we've only got a point here. Difference in y doesn't make sense because there is no difference in y at a point. It's just a point. Same for difference in x. There is no difference in x. That gives us two alternatives. The first alternative is to try and draw a tangent to the curve and measure the gradient of that. A couple of problems here. Firstly, I've had to do that by eye. So if you did the same thing, you might get a slightly different tangent and therefore we might disagree as to what the gradient actually is at that point here. The second problem with this is, although y equals x squared is not the hardest curve in the world to draw, uh, it's still not that easy, it takes a long time and we're going to end up sooner or later with much more complicated curves than y equals x squared. In short, I don't really want to be drawing the things if I can get away with it. Now that gives us the second method. We don't need to draw if we can figure out uh, the great if we can find a point on the curve which is close by and here in in, in green I'm going to plot that's not meant to happen in, in green I've plotted a point above the curve some, somewhere else on the curve nearby but but different and now if I find the gradient of this green line it's actually going to be quite close to the actual gradient at the point still not exact now if I also plot a gradient a, a if I also plot a point slightly below the line, colour this in red, and find the gradient of that, then again it's not going to be exact, but it's going to be quite close to the gradient at my point. Now the one above is the green, the one below is the red, and they're very different steepnesses, very different gradients. The real gradient at C is probably somewhere in between these two. This point here is nearly 5, comma, nearly 25. And this point here is, well, I don't know what that is, about 1, comma, 1 and a bit. 1 and a bit, comma, 1 and a bit, let's say. Now, if we were to make these points closer and closer and closer to the point we're trying to find the gradient at, we'll see that the two tangents, sorry, they're not tangents, the two points, they're actually called secants, the red and the green line, the two secants get closer and closer to the actual tangent that we tried to draw earlier. Now this is exact, that tangent there would be, if these two points were exactly at x equals 3. I'll put them back here to about 4 and 2. So the green line is at 4, 4, 16, and the other one is, the red one is at 2, 4, or thereabouts. And what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the sums involved in finding the gradient of the green line and the gradient of the red line. Now, what I've got here is a table. This is the x-coordinates. We had x-coordinate we're trying to find the gradient at is 3, the y-coordinate is 9. The x-coordinate of the red line was 2, and the y-coordinate was 4. And the x-coordinate of the green line was 4, and the y-coordinate was 16. Like that. Now, what, what we find there, if we do the calculations now, is that for the red line, the difference in y is 9 take by 4, which is 5, and the difference in x is 3 take away 2, which is 1. So the gradient of the red line is 5. Looking at the green line, difference in y is 16 take away 9, and the difference in x is 4 take away 3, so the gradient is 7 divided by 1, or 7. So the gradient that we're looking for is somewhere between the two gradients there. 7 is the gradient of the green, 5 is the gradient of the red. The gradient of the actual tangent is somewhere between 7 and 5 by the look of it. Now what if we zoomed in a bit more? What if we looked at, instead of the two points which are x-coordinate with one either side, 
What if we zoomed in so that we now point one either side? The calculations would look a little bit different. They'd look a bit like this. So now we're going from the x coordinates being three at the point we want. 2.9 gives us the red tangent, the red secant, and 3.1 gives us the green secant as here. They're now much closer together and much nearer to the actual gradient at the point we're looking for. We now can see that the actual gradient is somewhere between 6.1 and 5.9. So we're getting closer to the real gradient. If we zoomed in further and further and further, so we're only 0.01 away or even closer, we'd find that the gradient gets closer to a certain number. This is where the coordinates are 0.01 either side. 0.001 either side and 0.001 either side at which point I think 0.001 would be 0.3 noughts and then a 1 would be there and it looks like we're getting closer and closer these are sandwiching in the real gradient somewhere between 5.9999 and 6.0001 it looks like it's getting closer and closer to 6 now if I now really exaggerate this so I zoomed in to, uh, I'm going to put 8 noughts and then a 1, then Excel can't tell the difference. Now it doesn't guarantee that the gradient at the point is exactly 6, but it looks like it might well be. The only way we can prove what the actual numbers are, are here is by looking at algebra. Here I've done exactly the same calculation, but instead of it being x equals 3 and 3 squared, we've drawn the graph at any point x and x squared. So the point below it is x minus 1 and the point above is x plus 1, just as when we started here. So only instead of it being th 3 at this point, we're calling that any old x value, then this is the x value plus 1, comma whatever that is squared, and this is the x value minus 1, comma whatever that is squared. And that gives us this calculation. It looks like the real gradient is somewhere between 2 times the x-coordinate add 1 and 2 times the x-coordinate subtract 1. Again, if we zoom in, uh, now I'm going to make it so that the x-coordinates the x of the red and the green are 0.1 away from the original. We end up with that. Now zoom in further and zoom in loads of zeros before we get to a 1. And it looks like we're sandwiching the real gradient somewhere between twice the x-coordinate, add a little bit, and twice the x-coordinate, subtract a little bit. So the real gradient is at, at any point, here it was 3 remember, the real gradient at any point is twice that, that x-coordinate plus a bit, somewhere between that and twice the x-coordinate minus a bit. And we could say that the actual gradient then is twice the x coordinate as we sandwich this plus or minus a little bit to be as small as possible.